so Sing. here at Inaho Connect 2013 here in Asia. So what have you been doing here? Well, we've been meeting the whole week to talk about all the things that we did in the last, last cycle since uh, last Connect, which was in Copenhagen. So what have you been doing since Copenhagen? Uh, one thing that we worked on is the um, in-kernel switcher, which is a solution to support the big little architecture from ARM on the new product to come with that architecture. So uh, the John Cor Corbett uh, said some things about that. He said he saw it and he says it, it, it looks cool, right? Is that what he said? I yeah. think so. Yeah, so why does he say it looks cool? Well, you should ask him. But can you say what you think? Yeah. You think it looks cool? Okay. You think it's cool? I think that the switcher is a, a nice solution because it, it provides a straightforward solution to enable products. What do you do? Um, so I was part of IKS project as well and I was working over the CPU effect layer. So the way IKS works is uh, we have a switcher co code written by Nico, right, which can which can switch between CPUs with between different clusters, right? And the and the tricky part in IKS is that we have a hack in CPU spec driver which will decide which cluster to use at this particular load. So I wrote that CPU spec driver and Nico wrote the switcher part. So he almost wrote the brain of the human being actually. Can you describe a little bit more how do you work together? What, what do you do actually day by day or what so, happens? So all of us actually work on remote locations very, very far apart from each other. If you want to have a friendly chat or official chat, we work over IRCs, and then we actually exchange a lot of mails, we review each other's patches, we try to upstream them as well, and then we do some benchmarking, we share the results with each other, and finally, finally we got some real good stuff for customers to use. So how long have you been at Linara? I have been in Linara for around eight months now, and Nico has been for three years. Yeah, I've been at Linaro since the beginning. So, have you met before? No, this is the first time I have met him, but he's a friend since some since some long time actually. On IRC or on IRC on mails, and we have been friends, but we actually met each other for the first time. So, can you talk about each other? What do you think about his code, Nico? What do you think about what he does? I think that Virish is a tremendous coder. He's, he's posting <laughs> patches like a, a madman on the mailing list and very productive in that sense. So, do you think you can improve or it's impossible? If it's impossible to improve, I wouldn't say that. Everyone can improve it himself in a way, but uh, I think that Virish is a really nice coder and he's on the path to success to become a master as well. Too much for me. <laughs> so, what do you think about Nico's work? He's actually, he's actually the person we see, you know, to become after five, six years. If we can become a master like him, then there cannot be anything better in our career path for that. He's really the guy to follow and to, you know, look forward to. Me. So, you, you mentioned, you both mentioned master and stuff. Is it like a, a martial Pe arts? Or what, what, no, what it is it? like people who, who, who are recognized by the Linux community, right? So whenever they say something, people hear to it. That's what master actually is. I was trying to ask you about uh, what is this field you're working in? What is it? Is software engineering? How do you describe it? Well, we're working. We're software engineers. So we take some hardware and apply so software solutions on them to make the, them work. So. Uh, can you describe a little bit more of, uh, of your role here in Ninaro? What, what is it? Um, my role was in the last year to work on the Big Little Switcher, which is a software solution to make the Big Little architecture work with product to come in the near future. So if we talk about this, the switcher, it's a way to let the Linux kernel use this architecture without making intrusive changes all over the place. So we mask the difference between the big and the little switcher behind a CPU freak driver, which represents both CPUs under a virtual CPU with different frequencies. Cool, so, and, and you, what are you, what are you doing? Um, I'm a big little switcher 
Yes, sir. My role is linear of PS uh, this engineer. Uh, my daily routine uh, test is going to be big little IKS currently and big little MP. What I get is I get the kernels from Nico and Viresh. These are the guys who make big little kernels. My job is to ensure that I am going to write the test cases which are going to cover exactly the the people we these people are developing it. So my job is to deliver the test cases and ensure that those runs and there are no bugs involved in it. And I will be releasing test results for every weekly and monthly and about the big little like and the MP uh, results. So, uh, could you... He, he, he really pointed us to lots of bugs which we have introduced actually. Right, Nico? Yeah. He did a great job, man. And actually, I don't know if you're aware of it, but our team got the best team award this time in, in the Connect. So, Why did you get the best team award? Outstanding performance. <laughs> but uh, outstanding performance. Uh, like, can you describe it more? What, what is the outstanding performance that you're doing? Nico, what do you think? Well, you think? I, I think that we were under pressure to release some something working well uh, with a tight deadline. And at some point, we were working all around the clock because I'm in America, those guys are in, in India, and... Uh, Dave Martin is in UK? He's in the UK, so at some point there was always somebody working on this project at any one time during the day. So getting big little solutions done is uh, a big deal, right? I mean, Yeah, it, it was a big deal because that's a new architecture, that's something that Linero got involved from the beginning, so we had to prove that we were able to deliver a good solution for this and for the benefit of our members. So how big a part of Linaro is what you're doing, your team? I think overall it's, it's still a small team, uh, but what we provided was key to the reputation of Linaro in the ARM ecosystem. So what kind of uh, questions were people asking you in those meetings you have? Can you try to emulate that? Can you try to ask Nico some questions? So Nico, uh, so this is what most of the people have asked me. What is the future of IKS? Because we have heard that there is MP kernel which is going to be in, which will run all the CPUs in a cluster, in, in, a, in an SOC. So what do you see as future of IKS? Well, we know that IKS is not the optimal solution because it makes only half of the CPUs running at any one time. So eventually we're going to replace this solution with, with the HMP, with, which manage all the CPUs at the same time by using the Linux scheduler to put tasks on the big cores or the little cores as appropriate. But in the meantime, the switcher was a nice solution because it was straightforward and it could be done quite sooner. So you still feel that IKS will be used in future after MP is out? Probably it is a feature for the switcher because it's easier to, to integrate in the product. What would you talk about if you had a meeting right now? Okay. So he'll probably ask me something about what is, this, what is there in this patch which is changing the behavior of my system? What is this which is changing the performance and power figures on IKS release? And he'll actually get in with some bugs. No man, hot plug is not working with cluster B. So what is really we should do? Then we'll get over the problem, we'll try to reproduce it at our end, and then we'll discuss over ISC what the probable solution can be. And finally, we'll get a solution which we really upstream very quickly. So, so which can be used by everybody else. What was the problem that we have with the CPU freak driver? Probably CPU freak core layer was never tested well against the hot plug thing. So we have got five CPUs in the big little system, right? We have got from ARM and we tried to hot plug all the CPUs again and again in a while loop. So we were out like hot plugging out four CPUs and then we were trying to bring them up again. And CPU freak core was just not working with that. We got lots and lots of crashes with that. And then we figured out that probably nobody has tested CPU Freak Core with hot plug going on. And then we really got so many changes into, into the core. 
we probably got around 10 to 20 patches in this kernel 3.9 into the kernel which really fixed the C++ core for big little systems. So what, what was John Corbett uh, uh, suggesting that you should do, that Linaro should do with what you're doing? Nico, what do you say? <coughs> well, I think that one of the things that was uh, said by John Corbett is the fact that Linaro had kept the switcher private to its members and by doing so it's not getting any review from the community. However, uh, we needed a way to provide our members with some return on the investment. They're, they're putting a lot of money into Linero. So at some point they need to have some advantage and the, the Swisher was that advantage that they have. But as soon as one member is shipping a product, because this is GPL code, we need to publish this code in the public, in, in the kernel for everyone to get. So, um, is this going to be shipping in products for sure? Yes, yes, for sure. For sure. Exactly, for sure. Um, this is going to be shipped because the, the alternate solution, which is the HMP, is not ready yet. This is still in the research phase and it requires some development yet to be done yet. And could they both ship on the same products eventually when the other one works as well? Yeah, it will. It, it would be just a software upgrade to switch from one solution to the other. But let's see how the results are out. So it might turn out to be that iCase is almost giving almost similar figures to what MPGAM gives. In that case, people might not try to upgrade the solution. So you never know what is going to be the best solution yet. But MP is going to take six to eight months for sure now. So if you want to have a big little SOC out tomorrow, we are going to use IKS. So what are you looking forward to do in the next weeks and months? Um, now that we shipped I, uh, the IKS solution, um, we'll probably transit to the HMP solution and try to push that one ahead. All right, so I guess, thanks a lot. Do, do you want to add something? Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, asking to the previous questions uh, to Nico, when we have switched from uh, fast models to the TC2 hardware, so I was having n number of questions to Nico. I was pushing him to get the right answers from him. Like, what is the latency we can get, how the performance can be different when we run on the fast models and when we run on the SOCs, and what are the tests needs to be uh, extended to actual test the SOCs. So there were kind of plenty of changes were made when I ported the test suit from fast models to EC2. So I used to file a bug, but Nico says it's a test case bug. Then I used to fix my test case again and I used to deliver to them. So this is the way we have been communicating from a long time to make it up and running and ensuring that the quality of uh, IKS is as good as it has. It, it was really fun to be part of such a great team actually. You have the best developers from the world in Linaro and Nico is one of them, obviously for the ARM community. And it was really fun to have, you know, work with such great people and learn so much, you know. You can't do it anywhere else in the world. And how about you, Nico? You, you said something when you, when uh, after people ask you something like that, the price, what do you say at this stage? You said, uh, you said, uh, Thanks for giving me the opportunity. Yeah, I, I, I was sending the message to the management of Linero. Uh, thanks for letting me work on such cool stuff. I don't, I don't think we get the opportunity to work uh, on all those, the stuff that we get in Linero somewhere else. Yeah, exactly. So you describe this as cool stuff. Really cool stuff. Really cool stuff. What we are doing now is actually what people are going to follow six months later. So we are actually writing the core part of each framework, right, Nico? And whatever we are going to do now is what people from different for, with different platforms are going to follow six months later the line. So they will actually follow whatever we have done. So we are actually writing the future of ARM big little systems. Do you feel like you are building the stuff that the whole world is going to use? Exactly. So probably every phone that you are running, right, it will it will like some it will run some lines of code from us. All the time. All the time? All the time. How many times a second? You should ask millisecond actually. <laughs> All right, that's cool. Thanks, thanks a lot. Thanks.